be sharing a few details and few words about obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a very common psychiatric condition and it's estimated that about 1 to 3 percent of the people will experience this condition in their lifetime. Obsessive compulsive disorder is in many ways a debilitating condition that may not be apparent to people who do not suffer from it. In many ways it's a good example of the invisible disability which means that you are greatly affected by something but the person in front of you and other people can't make out. So what is obsessive compulsive disorder? As the name suggests obsession and compulsion in simple terms. Obsessions can be thoughts, images, impulses, fears etc. and they share certain properties. Let's take the example of an obsessive thought. An obsessive thought is described as repetitive, intrusive, irrational, excessive, own and ego dystonic. Repetitive means that there is a thought that keeps coming repeatedly. It's intrusive, it comes uninvited. It is excessive, clearly. It's, it's, it's not normal in terms of the frequency or the number of times it's coming into your head. It's irrational. Most people with OCD will tell you that they know that it's not logical, but they can't help but prevent it. Prevent it from, they can't help uh, it coming into their mind. Own. It's their own thought. In certain psychiatric conditions, it might feel like it's a foreign thought, but in this particular disorder, it's their own thought. They're clear about it. And then it's ego dystonic. Ego dystonic means that uh, it's not in keeping with your rest of your personality and your belief systems. Let's say that somebody is, uh, let's say a mother who obviously wants to take care of the child and wants to protect the child from all possible danger, might get a thought of harming the child. Somebody is very fond of some belonging might get a thought of breaking that. So it's not keeping in keeping in keeping with the rest of their belief systems. So this is called ego dystonic. Now what's a compulsion? Compulsion is a behavior usually. Sometimes it can also be a mental phenomenon which is done in response to an obsessive thought or according to certain rules and regulations which are, which are applied rigidly. And these do not have any logical basis like somebody might have to count a particular number of times Somebody might have to go back and forth a number of times, etc. So obsessions and compulsions, this is in simple terms what OCD is. There are many different nuances to this. People can present with many different kinds of presentations. And the details are not part of uh, the scope of this video. So how do we intervene in case of obsessions and compulsions or OCD? Interventions again can be in the form of psychotherapy, medications, brain stimulation methods, etc. Psychotherapy, the classical uh, method of psychotherapy in OCD is behavior therapy or CBT, in particular exposure and response prevention. There are many other kinds of psychotherapeutic interventions for, for OCD. Uh, details are again uh, beyond the scope of this video. But psychotherapy is an important intervention in case of OCD. Then there, are, there is the medication related option. Different kinds of medications can be used and it will have to be tailored based on the individual, the exact condition, the kind of symptoms they have, etc. Besides psychotherapy and medications, the third option is brain stimulation. Brain stimulation, particularly, there are two or three uh, modalities, although many different are being experimented upon. So, RTMS, TDCS, and deep brain stimulation. RTMS or recurrent transcranial magnetic stimulation is a non invasive pro procedure that works well for a certain subset of patients. TDCS or transcranial direct current stimulation is another such intervention that works for a certain subset. Deep brain stimulation uh, is a neurosurgical procedure, although a relatively simple neurosurgical procedure uh, that can be used for uh, a certain subset of patients where other things are not working or cannot be given for whatever reason. Uh, so deep brain stimulation is also an important option. As opposed to traditional neurosurgical techniques for OCD, deep brain stimulation is uh, in principle at least reversible and is not as drastic as the traditional neurosurgical procedures. So that's uh, about the deep brain stimulation for obsessive compulsive disorder. So in this particular video I have covered briefly the nature of the condition that is obsessive compulsive disorder, uh, the kind of effect it has on the people, the number of the percentage or the prevalence of the obsessive compulsive disorder, different interventions that we have for it and how to generally go about this whole topic. 
So thanks for being there with me.